Welcome back, future viewers. Last time, uh... Last time we got to the top of the tower just in time to watch Dark Soul do the thing and not stop him or hinder him in any way. It's a JRPG plot, alright. I've seen that happen so many times in JRPGs. Yeah, nothing has changed since our trip to the ancient tower, as far as I know. You sure? Yeah, I knew it. <clears throat> there are not a whole lot of games where you are actually inevitably doomed when the big bad evil thing is reawakened. Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew that you got it pretty soon after Kane died. I thought you just grabbed it off him, but no. Yeah, that's one thing that the patch could not fix. Probably uses different code from when you get something from a treasure chest. Yeah, that could have been handy when he was fighting Dark Soul a moment ago. No wonder he lost so fast. So, I was wrong. The Doom Blade is not cursed. The evil sword, um, is, though. Use that with great care. The Sword of Darkness is, of course, stronger than the Sword of Light. But not so much more so that I would bother with dealing with a curse. It's not Devil Axe bad, but still annoying to deal with. Now I just need to remember where that Shining Path thing is. The one that the uh, school kid was working on, so we know it's ready by now. We've seen what kids do in this game. Why is there a chicken down here? Well, maybe the chicken is descended from the ancients and helpful for opening the Shining Path, too. Man, that thing that just happened to be in the basement of Magic Town turned out to be really important, huh? This is something that the game should have told you but did not, except in the Game Boy Advance version. Kane and Max are, um, capsule kids, kept in suspended animation for about a thousand years because the people back then knew that Dark Dragon would return. So they sent, um, a couple of their best guys down here to help. But uh, Dark Soul interfered, took Kane, and gave Max amnesia, so things got complicated. Not that Shining Force 1 Western version tells you any of that. But if it did tell you, this would be where you found out.
So the Chaos Breaker doesn't exist yet. Why are there legends about it? Oh well. Also, this is something that shows up more than once in Shining Forest. We're not using the Chaos Breaker to slay Dark Dragon. You can't really do that. We're just gonna try and reseal it. Oh yeah, and they sent robots along with uh, Kane and Max. But unfortunately, those were interfered with as well. So that doesn't actually destroy Adam. In fact, we can cast e Egress and put Adam in our party right now. Nothing really new here. Except for the boss, of course. But Chaos isn't that bad, despite the name. Also, it's just like this game to make you fight Chaos before you can get the Chaos Breaker. Oh well. So, I forgot to put uh, Tarasu in my team, so I'm gonna use Egress anyway. But that's okay, we can put that to more than one purpose, because we can get advice for the next battle. Oh boy. And also check Adam's stats. Also, oh boy. Because Adam is a... a character. I hesitate to say anything before I show you the stats, although if you play played Shining Force already, you know what, you, what I'm about to talk about. Well, let's get that advice first. That's, uh... I should know better than to expect something helpful from him by now. Actually, no, that's not fair. He actually did give decent advice earlier about how we should promote our guys if we haven't already. So, there was a glimmer of hope there, but it, it's gone now. Right, first, Tarasu. Um, stats are not amazing, but he starts with some very important spells. Aura is one of them, and he will start leveling that if I manage to give him some more levels, though being a healer, not gonna hold my breath on that. Also, shield. Shield is something very special that, to my knowledge, never shows up in another Shining Force game, and what it does is simple. It stops the next enemy spell from working on that character. Seems pretty strong to me. Also, let's check Adam. So, given that Tarasu is that good... Oh yeah, let's check Aleph as well. I forgot to mention him in the long video. Oh, nope, nope. Dang it, I forgot that the directions also canceled that. Anyway, Aleph. Um, he gets higher levels of Bolt eventually. But he's gonna take a lot of grinding to do that, and there's not a whole lot of grinding left in the game if you're playing the way I am, which is to not use Egress to respawn enemies. If you do play a game where you grind freely, then LF is great. But I'm not, so he isn't. Which is a shame, because Bolt is the strongest uh, offensive spell in this game. But that's how it goes. Uh, Tarasu is good because he starts with something that's already better than anyone else on any of my healers on the force at this point. <clears throat> and there's Adam. Adam is in desperate need of a lot of levels right now, and the reward is not even that good. And look at his stats right now. I, I guarantee you his stats do not skyrocket fast enough to justify this. You you'll notice his movement was also garbage. But let's let's put Tarasu on our team. He's gonna replace Gong. 
And it took me long enough to do that. Ah, well, I believe that is that. Oh yeah, I, I should revive Lyle, shouldn't I? I can't believe I almost forgot about that. Lyle is usually not what I would consider forgettable, but I think... I think I valued him a little bit too highly because the last time I played Shining Force it, I was just grinding as much as I want, and Lyle is really good if you do that. But in this case, I have to be more careful and uh, a little less enthusiastic about him. Well, I only lost one party member this time, so I'm um, better than usual for this point in the game. And I guess that'll be it. We'll see the robot battle next time. Well, I will see you then. Bye, everyone.